HD ICG is an addition to the suite of technologies incorporated into the ODM Plus for cardiac output monitoring, which includes the esophageal Doppler, a widely validated technology measuring central blood flow velocity directly, the arterial waveform analysis component of the ODM Plus using the most reliable algorithm to derive flow from arterial pressure and calibrated by Doppler cardiac output. And now high definition impedance cardiography, a completely non-invasive technology suitable for monitoring awake and lower risk patients. HD ICG involves the transmission of a low magnitude, high frequency electrical signal through the thorax. Six electrodes are applied to the neck and the torso. Three of these, the white, the blue and the green are impedance electrodes. Two, the red and the orange are ECG electrodes. And one, the black is both an impedance and ECG electrode. The electrical signal will travel from the white and blue emitting electrodes through the thorax down the path of least resistance or impedance which is the descending aorta, to the green and black receiving electrodes. And the impedance to the signal will change across the cardiac cycle as blood travels down the aorta. This is an example of the HD ICG signal and its relation to ECG. The major feature is the S wave, which corresponds with systole. The height and the width of the S-wave correlate with stroke volume and the slope correlates with contractility. The technology uses two variables to calculate stroke volume. The aortic compliance, which is calculated using a proprietary algorithm, and the pulse pressure at the point of calibration. Stroke volume is then multiplied by heart rate determined from the ECG electrodes to calculate cardiac output. So what's the evidence to support the use of the technology? Well, HD ICG was initially developed for hemodynamic assessment during exercise, meaning it is suitable in awake clinical situations, and it's since been clinically validated. In total, there are more than 45 published peer-reviewed clinical studies evaluating HDICG technology. Overall, they show good agreement with the pulmonary artery catheter and thermodilution. Exact electrode placement isn't required with HDICG, with a high reproducibility measured across small variations in location. And field assessments comparing HDICG with the ODM Plus have shown good correlation. So back to the role of HD ICG within hemodynamic monitoring. So the esophageal Doppler component of the ODM Plus is the most widely validated technology for fluid management. It's commonly referred to as the modern gold standard technology for fluid management, essentially replacing the pulmonary artery catheter. And more than 20 randomised controlled trials have been published using the esophageal Doppler which overall reports significant reductions in post-operative complications and length of hospital stay when used to guide fluid administration. The ODM Plus includes the best algorithm for deriving flow from pressure, developed by Lillestrand and Zander. It's calibrated by the esophageal Doppler and therefore suitable for medium, to high-risk surgical patients and ventilated ICU patients. It also enables longer-term hemodynamic monitoring. But as with any arterial pressure-based technology, it does require calibration and frequent recalibration to ensure accuracy. HD ICG is completely non-invasive, making it an excellent technology for lower risk and awake surgical procedures such as awake orthopaedics and obstetrics. It's also suitable for procedures where the ODM Plus is less practical, such as head and neck surgeries. 
Being non-invasive, it's applicable across all hospital settings, from the emergency department to ICU. And it's also suitable across the perioperative period for both preoperative and postoperative monitoring. So to summarise, the ODM Plus now includes three technologies. The esophageal Doppler component is the best in class for perioperative fluid management. The arterial waveform analysis component is the best in class algorithm for deriving flow from arterial pressure. And the HD ICG component is the best in class impedance based technology. This makes the ODM Plus the only technology to provide direct, independent measurements of both flow and pressure, expanding the availability of hemodynamic parameters. We hope you've enjoyed this module on high definition impedance cardiography. Please see the next module on how to use HD ICG. And for further information, please contact marketing at deltexmedical.com.